Friends, brothers and sisters, welcome to Pathways of Hope, a daily reflection on the gospel and the hope that it brings to us in these times. My name is Ted, and I'll be sharing some insights on the gospel for today. Today is Saturday, November 7, 2020, and the gospel for today is from Luke chapter 16, verses 9 to 15. In today's gospel, Jesus reminds us of the source of true riches. In verses 10 to 12, Jesus says that the source of true riches lies in our faithfulness. He who is faithful in very little is faithful also in much, and he who is dishonest in very little is dishonest also in much. If then you have not been faithful in the unrighteous mammon, who will entrust to you the true riches? Jesus reminds us that the source of everything we have and need is God, not mammon or the world. And the source of true riches is not in keeping what we have been given by God, but in giving them away to others. You cannot serve God and mammon, Jesus tells us. God's nature is generosity in his unfathomable and immeasurable generosity. And through his divine power, God has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. He has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. We are offered the gift of his Holy Spirit, who fills us with the fruit of the Spirit. On the other hand, the world's nature is greed. The unordered desire for personal gain, success, security, and reputation, by its very nature, greed is incompatible with generosity. The nature of the world is incompatible with the nature of God. The reminder that we cannot serve God and mammon is a reminder to us that the one who should rule our lives is God, not the world. For God alone has the power to satisfy our every need, to fill our every desire, to set us free from the bondage of greed, insecurity, and pride. Jesus invites us to make him king of our lives, every aspect of our lives, because the source of our lives is not the world, but God. And the key to our response to Jesus' invitation is to be freed from greed, insecurity, and the desire for material possessions and worldly affirmations. If you have been made more hopeful by the short commentary, please share that hope by sharing this with your friends. Again, this has been Pathways of Hope. Thank you for listening. God bless us all.